Do you ever check yourself out naked <laughs> in front of the mirror and start crying? <laughs> and then have to be escorted out of Build-A-Bear? <laughs> Just me? Okay. I, um... I realize I have a hard time talking to men lately. Like, um, you know, I either, I get really anxious and I either say the wrong thing or just like weird noises come out. Like the other day, this guy came up to me and was like, hey, what's up, babe? And I was like, <laughs> pop tart. <laughs> <laughs> I tell everyone I'm a feminist because it seems like the, the easiest explanation for why I've been single for so long. My family's always asking me, so when are we gonna hear those wedding bells? And I just say, uh, yeah, and sell myself as property? Uh, no thanks. <laughs> so now they're just waiting for me to bring my girlfriend Pam home from Home Depot. <laughs> I try to date though. You know, it's just like, I realize they have a hard time determining when someone is flirting with me or not. Like for instance, I uh, went into a job interview on Monday and the potential employer asked me what my biggest weakness was. And so I started talking about, you know, I have a hard time reading situations. And then I leaned in for a kiss. <laughs> he couldn't have been more obvious. Um, my therapist suggested that I just try dating myself for a while, but uh, I'm not sure how that's gonna go, because I'm not sure I'm really my type, you know? <laughs> Talk about needy. <laughs> no thanks. Mm, I'm good.